Chapter 6, Learning Objective 2. Explain the impact on financial statements of inventory cost flows and errors. When purchase costs are increasing as in a period of inflation or decreasing as in a period of deflation, each cost flow assumption results in a different value for cost of goods sold and inventory, gross profit, and net income. Using information from the preceding comprehensive example and learning objective one, the effects of each cost flow assumption on net income and inventory are shown here. Sales is the same under all methods because the selling price hasn't changed. We saw how we calculated the different cost of goods sold amounts in learning objective one, resulting in different gross profit amounts and ending inventory amounts. FIFO maximizes net income and ending inventory amounts when costs are rising and minimizes net income and ending inventory amounts when purchase costs are decreasing. Because different cost flow assumptions can affect the financial statements, the accounting rules require that the assumption adopted by the company be disclosed in its financial statements as part of the full disclosure principle. Additionally, accounting rules require that once a method is adopted, it be used every accounting period thereafter as part of the consistency principle, unless there's a justifiable reason to change. A business that has a variety of inventory items may choose a different cost flow assumption for each item. For example, Walmart might use weighted average to account for its sporting goods items and specific identification for each of its various major appliances. In terms of the effect of inventory errors on the financial statements, there are two components necessary to determine the inventory value disclosed on a company's balance sheet. Calculating the quantity of inventory on hand at the end of an accounting period by performing a physical count and assigning the most appropriate cost to this quantity of inventory. An error in calculating either the quantity or the cost of any inventory will misstate reported income for two time periods. Let's assume merchandise inventory at December 31st, 2021, 22, and 23 was reported as $2,000. Merchandise purchases during each of 2022 and 2023 were $20,000. There were no other expenditures and sales each year amounted to $30,000 with cost of goods sold of $20,000 resulting in gross profit of $10,000. Here's what the merchandise inventory T account would look like with a beginning balance of $2,000 and purchases on the debit side and cost of goods sold on the credit side. And our partial income statements show sales each year of $30,000, cost of goods sold of $20,000, and gross profit of $10,000. Let's assume now that the ending inventory was misstated at December 31st, 2022. Instead of the $2,000 that was reported, the correct value should have been $1,000. Now, the effect of this error was to understate the cost of goods sold on the income statement, where the cost of goods sold should have been $21,000 in 2022, as shown here, instead of the $20,000 as originally reported. Because of the 2022 error, the 2023 beginning inventory was incorrectly reported as $2,000, but should have been $1,000. This causes the 2023 gross profit to be understated or too low by $1,000. The cost of goods sold in 2023 should have been $19,000, but was originally reported as $20,000. Income is misstated in both 2022 and 2023 because the cost of goods sold in both years is affected by the adjustment to the ending inventory needed at the end of both years. The opposite effects occur when inventory is understated at the end of an accounting period. An error in ending inventory is offset in the next year because one year's ending inventory becomes the next year's beginning inventory. This process can be illustrated by comparing the gross profits of 2022 and 2023 in the previous example. The sum of both years' gross profits is the same. With overstated inventory in 2022, the gross profit was overstated by $1,000, which causes the 2023 gross profit to be understated by $1,000. Over the two years, however, the error self-corrects, and the total gross profit for both years combined is $20,000.